If you're looking for how to cure, smoke, and prepare a holiday ham, then you've come to the right place. Alright, let's get started on a cure. First off, we're starting with one half tablespoon of fennel seeds, one half tablespoon of black peppercorns, one full tablespoon of coriander. Place those into a spice grinder or use pre-ground if you prefer. Grind to a fine powder and add it to a bowl. Next up, we're going to add our pink curing salt. This is also known as prog powder number one. We're adding one teaspoon per five pounds of meat. Add our salt, then one tablespoon of our favorite barbecue rub. In this case, we are using Heath Riles pecan rub. And finally, we're going to add our sugar to the bowl. Go ahead and stir that to combine. Once you get that mixed up, we're going to grab a tray for the seasoning process. Place your meat on there and give it a thorough inspection. Using a sharp knife, we're going to trim off any extra bits that are loose, discolored, or hanging off the edges. Also, trim off any blemishes or extremely fatty pieces. This step is entirely optional. I just prefer a refined finished look, so I put in a little extra effort on the front end which will make for a cleaner, more beautiful looking finished product. Once you have your pork trimmed, we're going to apply the rub to the meat. You'll want to season this much like you would a brisket or a pork shoulder, applying the rub as liberally as possible. We're going to flip it over and make sure we season all sides of the pork. making sure that we use every last bit of rub in the bowl. After you've seasoned the pork, place it in a two gallon bag. A zippered bag is not absolutely necessary, but since we will be turning the ham every couple days, a sealed bag will make this process much easier. Now, this is very important. We must take all the excess rub that fell onto the tray and pour it into the bag. If we were to throw that out, it would throw off our ratios for our curing salt. Carefully squeeze most of the air out of the bag as best as possible, then place it on a tray in case the bag leaks. Then place it in your fridge for approximately one day per half inch of thickness. This is an 11 pound roast that I let cure for approximately two weeks. It's at this point I wish I had used a pork butt so I could make a witty joke about washing your butt, but we use the picnic shoulder instead. This next step is very important. We're going to dry the ham as thoroughly as possible, place it on a rack and store it in the fridge overnight. That will help form a pellicle on the meat so that the smoke will more readily adhere to the ham. It is now the next day. We are dropping in a chunk of hickory replacing our baffles and the grate. We're going to place the ham directly on the grate and let it go until it reaches an internal temperature of 140 degrees. Once it reaches 140 degrees, we're ready to take it inside and let it cool for approximately 20 minutes. Once it has cooled, place it on your cutting board. Flip it over and grab a sharp knife. You'll want to remove this skin. Making careful short strokes, slice along the fat line until the skin comes free from the ham. Once you have removed the skin, we are going to score the fat cap. Using a knife, make diagonal cuts across the ham at approximately 1 inch intervals.
Once you have that finished, we're going to flip it around and complete the diamond pattern. Now, this next step is completely optional. We're going to take whole cloves and place one in the center of each diamond. The purpose of this is purely aesthetic, and it will completely ruin your day if you bite into one. But it makes for a great Instagram photo. Now let's prepare a glaze. Start with one quarter cup of Dijon mustard. Using your finger spatula to scrape it into the bowl. Then we're going to add one half cup of apricot preserves. To that, we're going to add one quarter cup of honey. My buddy Jimmy makes his own honey and gave me a jar for Christmas. I think we'll use this for the recipe. Add the honey to the bowl. And now for the piece de resistance. We're going to add one quarter cup of Hudson Maple Cask Rye Whiskey. Liquor will help combine the sugars and provide a delightful flavor as well. Next, add one tablespoon of your favorite barbecue rub. We're going to continue the theme and use the Heath Riles pecan. Give it a little whiskey to combine. And now we're going to take our gorgeous ham and coat it with the glaze. You'll want to coat this as thickly and thoroughly as possible. Be sure to get all the sides and don't forget the bottom. Now let's head to the smoker. We're going to place our ham back on the smoker. After 30 minutes we are going to apply another coat of our glaze and we are going to keep applying glaze every 30 minutes until our ham has reached an internal temperature of 150 degrees. Once it has reached 150, your ham is done. Now, let's rest that on the counter for approximately 30 minutes before slicing. And, as you can see, the finished product is magazine cover worthy your guests will surely be impressed. Now, let's go ahead and slice it up. Place it on the cutting board, grab a good sharp knife, and start slicing. As you can see, the ham has a wonderful pink ham-like texture and that amazing cured flavor. This ham is smoky, sweet, and delicious. Thank you for joining us today in the Pig and Whiskey Test Kitchen. Hope to see you next time. And don't forget, subscribe.